Big welcome back. Still running I-25. I-25 nothing. I-17 southbound. With about, let's see, oh here comes the signs. I don't have to look it up. Perfect. 60 miles yet to go to Phoenix. Just over an hour of drive time. Actually, it should be just under an hour of drive time, but uh, good old Sheila's telling me an hour and 10 minutes, so whatever. It's neither here or there. I'm not going to the delivery site right now anyways. So anyhow, so uh, wow, quite the view here. Yep. Let me see if I can adjust this for you and see what I'm talking about. Yep. Pretty cool. Yep, quite the view. Pretty amazing. It was pretty funny. Uh, always back, probably 10 or 15 miles back. I'm running along and And I see, uh, you know, up at the top of this little hill that we're, you know, about to go up, that there was a, uh, you know, a uh, trailer. You know, the, well, there was a vehicle at the top of the hill on the uh, shoulder. It didn't have emergency lights on, flashing. But I could see it was at the top of the, you know, at the top of the hill on the right shoulder there. So I went ahead and did as always, and scooched on over into the the uh, left lane, you know, as, as you know you're supposed to do. And uh, as I'm coming up to it, I notice that, you know, that that it's you know one of these big, you know, like uh, travel trailers. And it's got the awning set up, and it's got the stairs leading off to the side of it set up. You know, that lead off more towards the shoulder side there. And, uh, and I could see that there was no vehicle attached to it. So I'm like, huh. And as I got closer, <laughs> I noticed at the very back of the vehicle, facing directly towards oncoming traffic, was a gentleman, an older gentleman, Sitting in a you know a lawn chair in the shade, just hanging out, having a smoke, and probably drinking a beer or something, <laughs> waiting for the return of the vehicle that uh, got that trailer into whatever predicament it was in. Most likely a flat tire. <laughs> but you know, all kinds of funny stories will come into your mind when you see something like that after the fact. Like you know. That guy's just sitting out there in the back of his trailer, all set up on the shoulder on I-17. <laughs> Thinking, yeah, my wife left me with the truck, but I kept the trailer, God damn it, You know, some, some stupid little story like that attached to it, right? So, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, yeah, he didn't seem too worried about nothing. He seemed, uh, well, Quite at home, and I guess uh, for the most part he was. He's got that big old travel trailer all hooked up or set up, awning out, just hanging out, just watching oncoming traffic. I guess. Figure that's probably the safest place to be. At least, at least that way so you'll be able to see <laughs> if uh, somebody's you know coming up, likely gonna ram into you. Get out of the way in time, I hope.
this uh, sun is just killing us today here, huh? Part of the, uh, the deal, part of the joy of uh, heading westbound in the afternoon, I guess. It's just, uh, yep. Just enjoy the view here, I guess. Oop, try to get this camera in. angled better here. If I can bring myself down to about, oh, 50, 50-ish. Let the engine brake hold me. I'm in no hurry. Not at all. Stick 
backing up on the side of that hill right there. Uh, we're going to see some more here any minute, I figured. Yep, for sure. Wow, there's a really tall one. Oh, wait a minute, that's a telephone pole. <laughs> Some point something you 
you know, surgery's going to happen or major, and you deal with it, right? You know, and, and work is a good analogy of this, is that the same thing. When some major thing happened at work, a negative thing, like, you know, like where many people would just freak out, I was always cool about it. Like, okay, you know, well, let's, you know, it is what it is. Let's deal with it. Let's get this, you know, sorted out. Problem, you know, solve the problem. But the little things, I don't know why, when little things happen, sometimes they, you know, maybe it's just because they add up or because they just seem so stupid. I think that's really what it is. Sometimes those little things can just be so stupid and they get me. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but they do. They just get me and they still get me. Like just little dumb things just can really infuriate me. So I don't know, it's weird. I try to work on that, but it still does. I don't really have a great uh, example for you to give you right now of something like that, but it happens. You know, well, okay, well, I guess like, so if the truck was to break down, if, if the truck was to break down, you know, or I, you know, blow a tire or something like that, okay, that shit kind of happens, you know, whatever, deal with it, you know. It's, solve it, let's get this, you know, fixed, get it sorted out, no big deal, but, but little things like, I don't know, having to sit and wait at a pickup or, you know, or, you know, getting a goofy message from somebody, you know, it'll just fire me up, it'll fire, I'll, I'll just, it'll freaking get my goat, and I, I don't know why. I just don't know why, but it will. It's just because those little things can just be just so dumb when you compare it to the big picture. You just go, come on. <laughs> and there's like typically, and that's the other thing too, there's typically nothing you can do to sort it out. Maybe that's what it is. There's typically nothing that you can do to change it. It's like, ah, you gotta deal with it, you know? Whereas like the big things, okay, Let's get to work and get it figured out. I don't know. So maybe maybe that's what it is. <laughs> I don't know. You know. Yep. Or maybe I'm just an oddball. Maybe I'm just a uh, glitch here in the matrix. <laughs> that's fine. That, that can be very likely. That could be. Yeah. That could be. Uh, yeah. That's a that's a likely possibility. That's yeah. Pull a little me. Pull a pull a little me. Wow, some scenery though, huh? Man, I love it. You go out, get out of the truck here, shake hands with a cactus and see what that gets you. Huh. I wonder. I know there's some cactus out there in New Mexico, and I don't know what it's called, and I don't even like like the memory I don't really have like a picture memory of what it was all I remember was I was doing a job out in Moriarty replacing a bunch of windows on a home the entire you know every single window in this home was we were replacing swapping out with more uh, efficient windows or whatever and uh, you know so we had to you know for the most part we were doing it all from the exterior of the home so we were we were cutting out all the stucco around the existing windows to give ourselves room to pop the old windows out. And uh, so we were working on the outside of the home and I remember, all I remember was that, you know, and I was wearing, you know, work pants, jeans or whatever. And there was this cactus down there on the ground, just a little tiny guy, but it had like these two and a half inch long needles on it or three inch long needles on it. And boy, that thing stuck me like you wouldn't believe, and it hurt like hell the rest of the day. Like it had some, uh, some you know, a little poison on the tip of it or whatever. Man, that thing stung just all damn day, and then itched like hell for like five days after. Yeah, it was pretty gnarly. So it was like 
just the brick wasn't so much just the brick just being bricked by it wasn't the big but like scratching it over the next couple of days turned it into this big old sore you know it's like man i have no idea what it's called and i don't actually really remember what it looked like except that it's these long little needles on it and they went right through the jeans like they were nothing like hot butter knife and hot butter that hot knife and butter Gotta watch out for those ones. Those oh, man, if you actually stepped on one or fell on one and had more than just one needle poke in, forget about it. Let's see, what's this sign say? What? Next 20 miles, donkeys. That is a sign, I'm telling you, that wasn't a horse. The way they had it, that was a, a donkey. <laughs> a jackass. I doubt it was a mule because uh, mules are typically highly sought after and put to work. Well, isn't a donkey like a, a donkey is the hybrid, right? Cross between a mule and a horse, I think. Jackass. Alright, 
Well, I guess it's about time to wrap it up. So uh, I'll let you go, and I'll see you on down the road. See ya.